Artificial intelligence is here to stay. And digital marketers that ignore it are going to do so at their own peril. Today, I want to talk about five things you need to know about AI writing assistants and how they're going to help you with your digital marketing. Here we go. Hey there, this is Steve from Stark Web Design. And today, I want to talk to you about AI writing assistants. You know, back when we watched Terminator, Cal Reese told us, come with me if you want to live. We're running away from the AI, right? We need to get away from the Terminator. Well, now we need to run towards the artificial intelligence as digital marketers. We need to be at the forefront. We need to be using these tools to create our content. If we don't, we're going to get left behind. So what is an AI writing assistant? Well, an AI writing assistant is a program that you basically put information into that gives you prompts, so it asks you questions. You put information in, and it's going to create content based on the information that you provide it. So if you want an article, say on AI writing assistance, you're gonna ask it, okay, you're gonna put into a prompt, what are five things that you need to know about AI writing assistance, all right? And it'll spit out information from the internet, things that it already has in its bank of research, and it's gonna take that and it's gonna create new, fresh content. Again, fresh content. This is not something it just copies from the internet somewhere. It's creating a new article or new information based on what's out there and the research that it can do in a matter of seconds. So it's it's crazy cool what these programs can do. All right, so what I wanna do is I just wanna talk about five things that you need to know about these AI writing assistants. Because, you know, while it's while we think artificial intelligence is gonna take over the world and replace people, that's not necessarily the case. I think it's going to help us but it's not going to replace us, all right? So these are the five things you need to know. So number one, it's a great way to get ideas for your content. Basically, you're going to just plug in different topics. Maybe you just plug in digital marketing. Maybe you plug in um, how to create a, a sales funnel. Uh, you know, whatever it is that you want to learn more about or write about or find topics about, you're gonna put information into the prompts and it can give you ideas based on your prompts, okay? So it can give you topic ideas for your videos, for your articles, for lead magnets, for funnels, all of these things it can give you information for, okay? Number two, it's a great way to create first drafts for your content. So if let's say you wanna write a blog article, you type in the information into the prompts. If you want to uh, write an article on you know, how to knit a sweater, here, what are the five things I need to know about knitting a sweater, all right? It will spit out an actual blog post and give you kind of a listicle uh, of those five things related to knitting a sweater, all right? So it's really cool what that information, you know, what, what the information is that pops out because it's going to write basically a full-on article for you, and it's going to create a great first draft. And when I say that, it still needs tweaking, but it's going to create that first draft and get you, you know, pretty far along in your content creation for that piece, all right? Number three... The more specific you are with your prompts, the better the results are. So the more specific you are with the information that you put into the program, the better the information is coming out, right? So one of the one of the programs that we use is ChatGPT. A lot of people are talking about that right now. And again, it has templates that you can uh, put information in if you want to write ad copy, if you want to write a blog post, if you want to... Um, write a speech for um, you know a client. Uh, all of those things you can plug in information, and it will create uh, you know a, a, a fresh new piece of content for you. But it is reliant on the information you input, and sometimes it's going to take three, four, five iterations in order to get you know as far along as you want to. You know it'll spit out three, four, five different articles. Uh, if you continue to add prompts. And then you can take that information and make it your own, all right? So number four, it's gonna save time, a ton of time in your content creation. Like we said, if it's creating the draft for you, it's doing the research, you know, it's it's going to get you, 
maybe even you know 75 80 percent of the way in your content creation uh, and and you're going to have this uh, this great head start on creating uh, pieces of content so it's going to save you time and lastly uh, this content it's still going to need to be edited and you're still going to need to know your topic because it's going out and finding information but it doesn't know what's factual and what's not it's not quite smart enough yet to understand what is an actual fact and what might be something that you know somebody just said or an opinion right so you still have to go in and know your topic and make sure that the content it jives with what you're wanting to create so you still need to be the, the, the topic expert, the content expert, and that's why AI is not ready to replace humans yet. And it may never, may never be that way uh, because it's, it's not quite smart enough to do that. It's getting smarter all the time, but it's not quite there. So you're still going to need to edit. So those are the five things. I hope you found some value with this video. If you did, please like, comment, and share. Also, be sure to subscribe and make sure you click the link down below. You can get a free trial of the Jasper AI uh, writing assistant, very cool program uh, that I've been using uh, for my content creation. I think you'll really like it. All right, till next time, bye bye.